Welcome back everybody, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly, so if you consider subscribing, be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, today I'm going to be making a delicious and simple recipe for cooked cabbage. You may also know this as southern style cabbage. This definitely works as a side to most entrees, but sometimes I like to serve this in a bowl, and it's my meal, and it's that delicious. Here's how I do it. Okay, to prepare the cabbage, I'm actually going to tear the outer leaves first. I'm not going to discard them. I'm just going to rinse them really well because they do carry debris. And actually I'll peel this one off as well. And if you want to give your cabbage a rinse, that's fine. You can always rinse after chopping. But for the most part, the inner part of the cabbage should be okay. So now all I'm going to do is cut around the core of the cabbage. And the core you should probably discard. You might get away with chopping it finely and stewing it, but it's not going to cook down the way the rest of the cabbage will. So now at this point, you can slice into thin slices or you can leave it into big chunks. I will be cooking this down until tender. After chopping all of my cabbage, I am going to give the outer leaves a really good rinse they do come with debris sometimes. You want to make sure you rinse the outer leaves well. And if you want to rinse your cabbage that's already chopped, that works too. And once I rinse them, I'm going to also chop these up. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the ingredients that I'll be using in this recipe. So I will be using one small bell pepper that I've diced. I'm also going to use one medium onion that I've sliced. I also have three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have three cloves of fresh garlic that I've minced. And I'm also going to be using a seasoning or rub that I put together. You could use the seasoning or rub of your choice. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of granulated garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. I also have a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Again, you can season and add spices to your preference. And I'm also going to be using two smoked turkey wings. You could substitute this with smoked bacon, smoked ham, or even sausage. Today, I'm going to be using turkey. Okay, so now I have started to preheat my pot. And to my pot, I'm going to add the three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay, so now that my butter has melted, now I'm going to start sauteing the onions, bell pepper, and garlic. Now I'm going to add the bell pepper. And I'm working with a medium heat. I'm not trying to burn anything before it has a chance to saute. So you'll want to be mindful of your heat level. Now I'm going to add the garlic. And I'm going to add a pinch, a hefty pinch of that seasoning that I, that I put together. So I'm going to let this saute until the onions have softened and everything is tender and the onions are translucent. And this may take several minutes. Okay, my bell peppers and onions have a nice head start. So now I'm going to add my turkey wings. And these are smoked, they're partially cooked but I do want these to sort of warm through and 
and get them in the pot. Okay, so now that my turkey meat has had a chance to sort of brown and saute with the onion and bell pepper, now I'm going to add 32 ounces or four cups of low sodium chicken broth. I'm still working with a medium heat. I'm going to let this come up to a simmer. And once it comes up to a simmer, I'm going to cover it with a lid and let it continue simmering and cooking for about 30 minutes. I just want to make sure the turkey meat is cooked and starts to get tender. Okay, so at this point, my turkey has been simmering and stewing for about 30 minutes. I'm going to be adding the cabbage in batches. I'm going to add a third of the cabbage, let it wilt down a little bit, then continue adding the rest until I have everything in the pot. And I'm also going to season with the rest of that seasoning rub or spice mix that I made earlier. Again, you can season this to your preference and use the spices and seasonings of your choice. Okay, so my cabbage is done and I'm going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so good and that smoked turkey meat, it's perfect in this. It cooked so tender, it gives it that smoky flavor. It's so good. And again, you can definitely substitute it with something like smoked sausage or bacon. It all works. And I cooked mine very tender. It, I cooked it about 25 to 30 minutes. You don't have to cook it that long if you want a firmer texture to your cabbage. But I gotta be honest, I love tender cabbage when I'm making it this way. You can serve it as a side. You can just eat as is, let it be your main dish. In my opinion, it's all good, especially with some sweet cornbread on the side. I will leave a link to one of my cornbread recipes if you guys want to give that a try. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish this plate of cabbage. I definitely hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Bye.